okay students I'm trying to teach you something new this is lung infection with a different software and teaching you from the home this is a self-study topic you know that well so give me a feedback after this lecture you hear and listen to me lung infection the topics of the lung infection that we are going to teach you I have divided into two parts part 1 and part 2 part 1 is a bacterial pneumonia is the number one topic then we shall, dis we shall discuss about the atypical pneumonia and lung abscess and in the part 2 I shall discuss about tuberculosis now this is a unique uh, software that I am trying now so normally when I teach I have student in front of me but today I have computer in front of me so it is difficult maybe of course it is challenging but I am trying trying to do so uh, unfortunately I cannot get a feedback immediately as I am teaching our first topic of discussion today is bacterial pneumonia to understand this topic we must understand the word pneumonia pneumonia by definition it means consolidation of the lungs and when we talk about pneumonia we talk about acute inflammation where the bacteria plays a very important role here this pneumonia can be divided into two basic groups or types which is also a morphological types as well pneumonia can be divided into lobar pneumonia and bronchopneumonia so before I go to the next uh, PowerPoint or the next slide I would like to once again reiterate that pneumonia means consolidation of the lungs now let me discuss a little bit about that consolidation word if we know the histology of the lung normally lung is a spongy tissue which basically contains a lot of air spaces now when we get a consolidation of the lung word it means the lung becomes solid why it is solid because this lung tissue contains exudate which makes it solid that is why the term consolidation has come lobar pneumonia is an example of a acute inflammation so we also can call it a acute pneumonia we have seen the lobar pneumonia slide in our regular lab practical in the last week lobar pneumonia the classical agent is a bacteria which is streptococcus pneumonia or we can also call it a pneumococcus it is not a microbiology class but I guess that all of you know that this pneumococcus is a diplococcus which has a lancet like shape so sometimes uh, without saying that it is a pneumococcus we can call it is a diplococcal lung infection in addition to this diplococcus Klebsiella also can play a very important role nowadays in our society Loban pneumonia is not very common but maybe 30-40 years ago it was a dangerous illness even it could kill humanity typically you can see Loban pneumonia between the age group of 30 to 50 years you can see in those people who are malnourished have a alcoholic tendency so it is the infection usually occur because of the malnutrition which is nowadays not very common in the developed countries so it is not a very common disease altogether now why we call it a lobar pneumonia lobe what is lobe here when I say lobe it is a lobe of the lungs this particular pneumonia or acute inflammation involve diffusely the entire lobe of the lungs and in this particular scenario we can see the exudate in the alveolus so it is the infection of the lung where the alveolus is a prime target 
and here the alveolus which is supposedly empty in a normal lung will be filled up with the exudate which composed of cell debris and plenty of neutrophils. So intra alveolar exudate is a phrase which can be used for lobar pneumonia. I want you to see the picture here in your PowerPoint where we see a diagram of a lung and heart. You can follow the cursor and you can see this is a part of the lung which is the left lung which is right, in, right hand side of our case in our case which looks apparently healthy normal empty. Now this is a heart and let us look at the right lungs. Here we see the two different colors. On the lower part of this lung it looks white it means it is normal. But if you look at the upper part of the same lung we can see it is more looking solid there is a color there uh, black and brown. Now this is the entire lobe which is undergoing the inflammatory change and which is the consolidated lung. So one second to uh, repeat the infection that we get to produce a loban pneumonia is streptococcus pneumonia or pneumococcus and make sure that we remember that in a loban pneumonia that is the key organism. Now regarding the loban pneumonia morphology or to understand the morphological stages of the loban pneumonia or the biological event that we can see we must understand the process of acute inflammation. Now why we get acute inflammation? We get acute inflammation in response to some kind of tissue injury or some kind of infection. In Loban pneumonia this infection is a streptococcus infection. Once the patient get this infection into the lung our body will try to protect ourselves. So they will start a acute inflammatory reaction process. So what is the first step of acute inflammation after the infection is in the tissue? The body will try to protect that area by bringing in neutrophils. So how you can bring neutrophil in that place? You increase the flow of blood and when you increase the flow of blood that particular blood vessels which are around this infection in the lung will show congestion. Means there are too many RBCs inside that are blood vessel. So that is the first thing that we see morphologically in a loban pneumonia. At that particular point the color of the lung might change because of the congestion too much of blood coming into that area it look a little reddish in color. Now once this blood is inside this blood vessels after that what happens? We get stage 2 type of loban pneumonia. What is that? Now what is happening here? These RBCs which are present in the blood vessel now will be going into the alveolar spaces. Remember that the blood vessels are present in the interstitial spaces which is basically present in the alveolar septa. An alveolar septa is a very thin structure. So this RBC once it escapes this blood vessel they will be filling up the alveolar space. Try 